All right. What's going on, YouTube? Got some mega bops in here again. I got another video for y'all. And this video pertains to wiring diagram. More importantly, the uh, PCM and the uh, pin pinholes and what wire corresponds to what on a Crown Vic. Um, I found that this information is kind of difficult to find on the internet. Um, you can get bits and pieces of the wiring diagram. But I had a friend who helped me out who uh, had some uh, spreadsheets from all data, which is awesome because it's like expensive every month. Um, so I got the wiring, uh, I got the pin diagrams here. So if you guys are trying to chase down like a faulty PCM or figure out what's going on, like a short or anything like that, you need to know how to, you need to know what pin corresponds to what wire in the, in the connectors on the PCM. Because if you don't know that, you're just running around, you know, chasing your tail. It's very important information, which I have other diagrams as well. But the PCM diagram is definitely... PCM connector pin diagram is a big help. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. And hopefully this helps somebody out there, you know. I've been looking for this forever. And, um, finally I got somebody that just happened to have it, you know, for my crown big. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share it with you guys and hopefully it helps you out. I'm going to move the camera now. Sorry if it gets all jolty or whatever. Okay. First thing we got here. You got your PCM right here. And you got your three. You got your three connectors, right? Now, these connectors all have pens in them, right? But the thing is, is you don't know. You don't know which what pin does what now you don't actually see numbers on the front of it okay so when you look at the diagram i'm about to show you it's actually looking at it this way so it's actually if you turn it around push that forward if you turn the connector around and then you can see i don't know if you can see the number here but there's actually numbers on here okay so it's kind of hard to see i'm not sure you the light but yeah so basically it starts off with, uh, there's an 11 on this side, so it'd be 1 on this side through 11, and it goes, starts at like, you know, 12, and it goes further on, all the way to 50, okay? Now, the thing about it is, is you can do a test and try to figure out if your PCM is actually bad or not. There's other videos you can watch on that, or I can make one later, but right now we're just trying to show you the pin wiring uh, diagram for these connectors. So this is the PCM. You know, this this is the baby that controls everything right here. These three connectors right here, I mean, they do it all. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to go over here. And apparently this is top secret data. Because it's freaking impossible to find. Now, as you can see here... This is a picture of one of the connectors, right? On there, it shows you pin 1 through 11, then 12 through 23, yada, 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 right? You can see it. Now, if I hold it up like this, right, I'm looking at it, and then I go up and I look at my connector, right, like that, and I think, you know, well... I know that one is all the way to the right. Sorry. Damn camera won't zoom. So you see that one is all the way to the right right there. To the right, starting off to the right. So it would be that first pin right there, where my, right above my thumbnail. Maybe one, two, three, you see? And you can see how it's like, it's got one over on each side. It's got one over on each side right there, on the top. So then you would you would look at one, you know, and you'd see, okay, over here it says on the diagram, it says pin number one is not used. 
okay? But then if you get this, if you get this paper and you're like, okay, well, how do I know which connector it's talking about? Well, I had to figure it out. So if you'll notice right here, it says, it's, I'm sorry about my camera here, using the phone. It says C175T. I'm gonna bring this paper over here for a second. Okay. C175T. It also has more wires over there. Then you got, then you got C75B. And then you got C175E. Now, the way I figured it out, because if you go over here and you look at your connectors, there's nothing on here that says C whatever, okay? Nothing. You got this right here. It doesn't say shit. Nothing on here. So, the only way to figure it out is to get one of those connectors, or get one of those diagrams, and start looking at the wires. Start figuring out which one corresponds with that paper. Well, I've already got it figured out for you guys. This is a 05 police interceptor. So if you get the wiring diagram for it, the pin connectors, there you go, right there. All right? C175T, 175E, 175B. Hey, that's how that's how it is. And I'll show you. All right? So let's just let's just check our work. 17 C175T. All right? So we're going to go to T over here. All right, so we know that, all right, so it says, it says one and two are not used, but three is a DB slash YE, which means dark, blue, and yellow. Output shaft speed. So I'm gonna look on the third pin back here on C175T that already got labeled. And I'm going to go this way, and if you look right here, ah, oh, shoot, the light, dude. Right here, that's a dark blue, and then I, it has a little tiny bit of yellow on there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right there. See it? So that's the third wire on the third pin, dark blue and yellow. So that corresponds with this over here, right? dark blue and yellow so I'm going to check the other one see if number three on this one is pink and light brown so that's not it and number three on this one is white so I know process of elimination that is the 175T connector. And I've already got it figured out for all of them, okay? So, uh, there you go. That's how you figure out which connector it is. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here to this table. I'm going to set this paper right down here. And I'm going to slowly record it for anybody who's trying to figure this out. Okay, so we got 175T right here. Okay, if you look at the, you rewind the video, see which connector that is. Okay, so I'm just going to put up a little shot of all the pin connectors. All right, I'm going to slowly do this. I'm going to move over it. So you can pause it at any time. Or whatever it is that you're working on. All right, so that's 313. I'm gonna flip the page, and now we got 14, and I'm gonna slowly go down so you guys can see what it is you're looking for. Like I said, you guys can pause it at any time, whatever it is. It might be something different you're working on. All right. We got 175B right there. 
We'll go over here. Here you go. One, two, and three. Pin one, two, three. All right, go over here, four and five. Six, seven, eight. There you go, flip the page. Go over here. Ten forty five over here. Okay. Let me check something. Let me check something. Alright, now right, we're going to our final connector. Which is gonna be one seven five E. And here's the pin connectors for that. Oil unplugged, COP1, fuel injectors, electronic throttle control, fuel injectors, coil unplugged, two. Alright. Flip it over. Well, I'm plug three. Five, six, seven, eight. There they are. Those are our cylinders. Pull packs. And then we got over here 49 and 50. Now, I also have more wiring diagrams back here. Uh, these are the wiring diagrams for the injectors, but, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys want me to do all these, I will, just leave it in the comments, but that's basically one of the big parts. I'm going to go ahead and go back over here, and you can see, 175T. 75E, 75B. All right. They go on there just like that. Okay. So maybe this will help you troubleshoot. You know, like I'm getting a uh, coil, a uh, primary circuit on three. Acting stupid. I got some other things going on, but so I'm about to use this information to help figure out. You know, is it the PCM going bad, or is it the, you know, the component or what it is? So that's going to take some more work and time. But I thought I would just go ahead and throw this up there, you know, helping you guys out because I know finding these things on Google is a pain in the ass, dude. And a lot of places want you to pay for it. So hopefully that helps somebody. All right. And once I figure out what's going on with this one, I will let you guys know. Thanks. Hope it helps somebody. And like again, um, I'm sorry about the camera. You know, I'm using my cell phone, so if it's a little shaky or whatever. Please forgive me. But I'm just trying to throw some raw information out there. Maybe help some of you guys diagnose what's going on. Y'all have a good day.